In this video, we are having a look at the not Shaolin. <laughs> I have been uh, working around the Shanlin H2 a lot. So the first word that was coming out of my mouth was Shanlin. But no, uh, this is the FIO Q15. It is one of the more powerful offering in this price range. Let's have a look at the specification. This one is the black one and it there, there are no specification on the box. So there is slightly on the odd side, but doesn't matter. I know the specification to a decent extent, I believe. Uh, we get AK4499 and AK4199 uh, dual DAC amp setup. And this one is equipped with uh, Bluetooth 5.1 and a 1.3 inch display so there is only one one operation available okay so this is you guys can see this is for the volume press it once to access the modes output modes coaxial bluetooth not output sorry input modes and if you press it again you go back Hold it for a couple of seconds and you go into the deeper menu that has the other other settings gain we get basically five but uh, when not in desktop mode there is only four so they are plenty okay uh, this can do 680 or 40 mw per channel in balance so it is very powerful in the super high mode and can do 1600 or 1300 mw with uh, the desktop mode ultra high gain so that is very very powerful let's have a look at the other settings here single ended output okay so lo means uh, line out phone out we go back balanced output so similar similar kind of thing balanced output phone out line out and uh, line out volume you can restrict the volume uh, adjustable fixed level so fixed level will max it out it's on adjustable max volume you can uh, put a restriction on the max volume that you want to be accessible uh, from the wheel so that's a good thing it will not get very uh, loud uh, since uh, the desktop mode is on we are seeing the ultra high gain but uh, the thing is that it will not show up in the gain settings because uh, there is no external power connected that that external power is supposed to be connected here you guys can see power in so yeah not showing up in the gain filters we get uh, some filters this is uh, better than the h2 h2 is uh, slightly unexplanatory with the device but uh, you can have a better interpretation from the software but here you guys can see uh, it's fast slow mini mini slow super slow low dispersion and i would on slow because uh, this is slightly on the analytical side and slow is much better dimmer okay uh, you can access the brightness it's plenty bright so no need screen timeout self-explanatory idle time so it will shut down after some some time without use you audio no need to do anything until unless you have a older device uac 2.1 is perfectly fine pq mode i'm not using that language you can change uh, various languages and not various it seems so uh, chinese and uh, english so yeah that is that factory reset uh, version tell tell like i'm not exactly sure what that means and this is it this is all the settings you get on the uh, Vio Q15. I definitely would have liked a, a single move button. Okay. This is power on off and this is back, play pause and uh, forward. This is These are accessible with the Bluetooth mode because this is a Bluetooth uh, DAC amp 2. And uh, there are some something that I was expecting more from it. I would have loved a physical gain key uh, a gain switch just low high 
there no need to have that many variations because uh, there is literally no need for that it has 120 steps of volume and you definitely can have better control over that so yeah there is no need for that many gain gain settings to be precise and there is some issue with this 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 switches okay this switches i am not very happy with this switches this is uh, you guys can see power phone mode okay on means it will not charge from the phone and phone mode off means it might charge from the phone and desktop mode exactly same on means it will not charge you will have to plug in a uh, external power here and it will show the ultra high gain in the gain settings and you will have to turn it on it will not turn on automatically until unless you choose it from the ultra high gain menu in the deeper settings okay off desktop mode means uh, it will charge this is this is a good thing because if you are using with your, it with your pc or something that is uh, not a mobile phone and can have good amount of power delivered into the q15 it will save your battery from cycles okay that is a very good thing it will not use the battery and that is a very efficient kind of thing here and uh, if we look at the build quality i like the build quality i initially thought this is plastic but it seems this is metal and this is this this piece might be plastic but this is metal and this is glass so good good build quality there are no issues with the switches or anything like that so that is a good thing i like the build quality it's on the heavier side though very heavy to be precise 310 uh, grams i think and that is okay uh, we get uh, uh, a 5500 mAh of uh, battery that can last uh, from 8 to 10 hours i'm not exactly sure why not more than 8 to 10 hours but 8 to 10 hours is decent and if we check the size this is nearly the size of my galaxy uh, note 9 and galaxy note 9 is not a small device and you guys can see nearly nearly as big as the galaxy note 9 so yeah this is a big big portable DAC amp and if we talk about the sound quality i really like the sound quality of this thing there are no issues when it comes to sound quality i was slightly not happy with the charling h2 uh, h2 was slightly lacking when it comes to uh, extension slightly lacking with the extension at both hands and there was a bit of uh, uh, edginess to it this one is much better in that regard but this too is not exactly great okay uh, why not great because if you want a warmish fuller sounding DAC amp this is not it this is uh, a bit more on the analytical a bit more on the rapid side okay even with the slow filter this one isn't exactly uh, full bodied okay base is everything is well well balanced okay it is not trying to uh, give emphasis to one part of the spectrum so that is a very good thing but everything else about it is just not very intriguing okay it's not warm the power is sufficient for more than anything you can throw at it but uh, yeah that lack of warmth might put some people off but those who like accuracy and precision and already have a warm rem or warm sounding headphone will like to pair that with this this is fairly analytical and very clean sounding another issue that i found it uh, to be having is the stage the stage is tall okay the stage is tall but it is not very wide until unless you have a very wide sounding setup with you like this one ej07m and uh, code 24c this one has a very big stage so that is pairing well with the q15 but the, that stage isn't exactly very wide in its own and there is a small issue with this one as we saw phone mode is on there is no need to turn on phone mode when using with uh, uh, a phone okay when using a phone phone mode is on and no need to turn the desktop mode on is it no basic our basic knowledge says no no need so the problem here is that if i do that okay 
let me show you guys okay it is charging the device okay charging connected usb device and we will not get audio okay it's, it's playing from the phone's speaker that is not exactly very desirable okay one has to turn that phone mode on okay and now this will not charge this is kind of uh, baffling okay mostly because one one will definitely think that there is no need to turn the desktop mode to have sound from a mobile phone so basically what happens is that it tends to charge okay if if you let a mobile phone charge which i have seen it will charge the device and it will not not let audio out so that is a kind of a baffling kind of situation with the with this switches or everything else is very good very good clarity very good details very good power i like most of the things about this and it's a very very good sounding uh, DAC amp power is uh, fantastic as I said and if you are in the market looking for a very capable USB DAC amp that can work as a Bluetooth DAC amp too go for this Q15 is a, a highly recommendable USB DAC amp at this price because of one cannot get flagship grade sound quality at this price and this is one of the best options you can go for so this is this is my uh, walk through and review of the fio q50 thank you for watching guys have a nice day enjoy